Welcome back guys. Today we're going to talk about a cool species that we like, rhino rat snakes. Stay tuned. So I real quick want to go about how we uh, breed and take care of our rhinos because there's not a lot of information out there on the internet. Um, Basically, uh, in my experience, it gets spread by word of mouth between people that have been working on it and they sort of like trade their secrets back and forth. But for people that are interested in getting involved with these, and especially for people that are purchasing animals from us, we wanna make sure that they're gonna get all the information they need so they can have top quality care for the animals. So these guys, this guy is about a year old. It hasn't gone through its color change yet. Uh, quite honestly, this one's been a little bit of a problem feeder because it should be a little bigger. But this right here is a fresh hatchling, about two or three weeks old, I think, if I recall correctly. Um, right out of the egg, they're going to eat fish. Uh, we use rosy red minnows. Um, they're available at your pet store. Pretty easy to get a hold of. They're like, <laughs> like 10 cents a piece. And they'll eat these right out of the water dish. So we'll throw two or three in the water dish and they'll go in there, hunt them, swim around and grab them up. Um, and you'll keep doing that for a little while. And once you see they're established and feeding very well, then you can start throwing a little tiny frozen thawed like mouse pink in there with the fish. And eventually, just from swimming around in there, it'll end up eating those things. And that's how you slowly transition them into eating rodents. And eventually they'll just start eating frozen thaw pinks that way because you know it's food now and then of course once they get a little bigger you can give it a bigger prey item and they'll grow faster um, but yeah these guys are pretty easy um, they're basically we keep them at room temperature so you know their enclosures probably in like the 75 degree range um, you don't want to get them hotter than 80 degrees because they can suffer neurological issues and even die um, they can take tolerate extreme colds. They'll actually brumate down in like the mid 50s, um, you know, maybe 60s, um, and they'll do that right before they go into breeding season. So we you don't have to brumate them, and we've produced eggs and babies without doing that. But um, you probably will get better fertility and better timing if you do give them a temperature dip uh, right around like. Uh, November, December time, warm them back up again in like February, put them together. Um, before you brumate them, make sure that they've been off of food for a while and they're like not pooping anymore because you don't want them to have rotting food in their stomach while they're cold or that could kill them. Um, so be careful and if you're unsure about anything, ask somebody who's done it before. We're more than happy to talk to you about it. Um, as far as price goes, these guys are probably like around the $400 range, which is pretty reasonable, especially for such an interesting animal. Um, very sort of bulletproof, like, you know, not needing supplemental heat and being able to tolerate colds. Um, pretty easy animal to take care of. They can be a little sketchy because they are rat snakes, so they will want to run. Some of them can have a little bit of an attitude. As you can see, these guys are pretty chill. Um, but even if they do try to take a whack at you, it's like laughable. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt you in the least. So, um, maybe yeah. you, what else, what am I missing, Ben? Maybe you wanna show them a yearling that has been on frozen thaw. Show you guys a, a bigger guy. That one uh, is now getting on frozen thaw, but isn't eating them every single time, but just about. Pretend you're a tree. Pretend you're a tree. <laughs> this one's like a year and a half old, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Was it last Tinley we got these, or the Tinley yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's probably about a year and a half old. Uh, it has its adult colors. Very beautiful as a female. These ones I don't handle so much, so she's actually being very well behaved. Just a little curious. Um, they can musk you if they're scared, which, uh, you know, 
doesn't smell the greatest, but it washes off. And uh, they're very beautiful snakes. Very thin bodied. They will take advantage of height if you put them in uh, something with, uh, you know, like branches or something. They will go up in trees. I think most of the time in the wild, they spend a lot of their time in like underneath moss sheets, but you know. Well, it doesn't hurt to give them a nice high setup so they can kind of do whatever they feel like. But yep, yeah, really cool animals, pretty easy to take care of. Not a lot of people have them. They look really awesome with the horn they have on their nose. So your friends will be like, what the heck is that? If you're looking for some wow factor. So this is an adult female rhino rat snake. And one thing I forgot to mention is how much they enjoy water. They will soak a ton in a water bowl. Um, they, and uh, in nature, they're usually around like mossy areas, so it's pretty moist <laughs> or damp. Uh, you know, there's higher humidity. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> they really do enjoy that and take advantage of it. Um, these guys come from um, pockets in China and also Vietnam um, in the mountainous areas where it's cooler and obviously a little bit more less a little less dry <laughs> but uh and she's being super well behaved look at her like why are you disturbing my bath but this is the female that produces for us every year the past two or three seasons um we have a couple of yearlings that'll probably go this year yeah maybe so we'll produce a little bit more these will double clutch and even triple clutch I wouldn't push it to a triple because they can really get exhausted, but they will produce two really viable clutches a year if you make sure to feed them properly. Uh, in the breeding season and you know right before brumation, before you empty them out, feed them twice a week. Make sure they add on some size because they're going to lose all that fat that they store producing eggs twice. Um, or you can keep them leaner and only get one. But uh, you'll have better productivity more fertility if they have a little bit more food going into the breeding season. But yeah, there you go. Beautiful rhino rat snakes. Green with the base teal color. Awesome horn on their nose. Nobody really knows what it's for, it's only speculation. But uh, actually one of the theories is since they do like to eat fish, it could be when they're stalking fish prey that it breaks the surface tension in the water before their head goes in. That's one of the things, but obviously that's just a theory. But yeah, I probably rambled on too much about this already, so. Rhino rat snakes. <laughs> hey Ryan, guess what? What? We got a package and it is time to open it. <laughs> so. Uh, I ripped it open just to see what was in there a little bit, but I will admit it wasn't a um, uh, just sent to our box, though we like Billy a lot. He doesn't know us that well that he would just send us stuff, but this is Billy from Mutation Creation up in Canada, out near Toronto, and uh, so I, I just sent him a, a bit of money. It's kind of funny. I thought I did it from the RMB Reptiles account. I did it from my personal account. And I said, hey, just looking for stuff. And um, he was like, well, who is this and where am I sending it and what stuff are you getting? And I'm like, oh, put it in the notes of the PayPal, but I guess he didn't see that. So um, back and forth a little bit and we got a couple Mutation what? Creation t-shirts as well as Hatching Your Passion, Hatch Your Passion, as well as uh, some stickers or something. I got a pack here. Let's see what we got. Put it in this really cool man manila, vanilla. It's like a vanilla. not not vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. It tastes um, like like something else, chemicals of sorts. <laughs> anyway, um, so <laughs> uh, oh, so he has the mutation creation eye. Why don't we show the camera? Yeah, why don't you show him that one? Put these. The Eye of Sauron. And you, can, you just got lots of stickers. 
MCs with the I. And, uh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Quality in, quality out. Hey, quality in, quality out. It's one of our good, uh, I like that idea too. Hmm. That's a fine idea. I don't know why it's uh, not. It's, it, I can't get it to focus because it's focusing on me. Anyway, you'll have to take my word for it. Quality in, quality out. And one of his business cards. Really cool. I like it. It's a nice business card. It feels nice too. So, Mutation Creation, they're really good guys. Uh, Billy, really. I guess it's not a lot of guys, but. He's a really good guy. He's a really good guy. He has lots of fun animals. Very, very cool. Uh, really nice setup. So, check out some of his videos. We'll link the description for them in the, below. And, uh, I don't know, Ryan, you want to you get these on here? Let's give this a whirl. Let's give this a whirl. So they look pretty good. They feel real snug a little bit for me. Maybe we need to go on a diet. I think we're going to go on a diet. You're going to go on a diet. I think I'm going to go on a diet. I've actually been on a diet for a couple weeks. You have. I know. I need to start mine. OK. All right, so thanks for the shirts, Billy. Yes, thank you for the shirts. And keep up with the good work. Keep up with the good work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we got a little mail here. This is from Michael Ross. Yeah, the guy that won the uh, egg. So, uh, which we are going to be shipping out soon. Actually, I have to get a hold of you. Mike, there's a letter in here. Okay, nice. And some stickers. First state python. Check that out. He's from Delaware. That is funny. Every time I try to do this, I don't think it focuses right. But it always focuses on us. I like it. There we go. Oh, oh. Hi Take that, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> but they're cool stickers. Thanks, man. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Ryan and Ben, thank you so much for doing the egg lottery thing with me. I didn't think anyone would do it because it's a little crazy and wild. But because of the what did we buy episodes that made me think about you guys just want to say thank you to you guys for doing it it was fun I'm sending a couple stickers it's the only design that I have so far I'm trying to get my name out there plus I'm going to be building a custom PVC cage too oh, that's cool um, did a couple already and sold some just hard to get the time to build them. I know about all that. Jeez. I have a full time job, but thank you guys for everything. And here are a couple stickers. As soon as I get more with different designs, I will send some to you. Thanks, Michael. Mike Rossi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no fancy paper or headings yet. It's coming with business cards. Right on, man. And also, whenever you put up that Facebook or whatever for your business page, let us know so we can link you. So, <laughs> thank you guys. Thanks, man. We're gonna give this a whirl. That's what you're doing? <laughs> Why don't you hold it and then spin? Well, let's give this, you wanna give this a whirl? You didn't do it. <laughs> Ready? Alright, it's fine. Ready? Let's give this a whirl. Let's give this a whirl. <laughs> you did like three, I only did one. The competition. Alright, that'll work. Mine's a little <laughs> snug. Alright, so you didn't move your feet, right? No. Uh -huh. Go like this. Go. No, no, like the way that you're spinning. Like. That's the way I spun, didn't I? I don't know. Which way did you spin? Spun. All right, so then go, well, just back like this, right? One, like this, one, two, three. <laughs> ah, that, that worked, I think. We'll see. It's magic. <laughs> magic. So they look pretty good. They feel real snug a little bit for me. Maybe we need to go on a diet. I think we're gonna go on a diet. You're gonna go on a diet. I think I'm gonna go on a diet. I've actually been on a diet for a couple weeks. You have, I know, I need to start mine. I. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying that you people have to go on a diet, but I'm saying that you should be healthy 
And that, uh, this is probably too much for the video. <laughs> We've gone off the rails. Off the rails. <clears throat> Ryan and Ben, thank you so much for doing the egg lottery thing with me. I didn't. Should I speed it up? I'll speed it up. I didn't think I knew. <clears throat> I have a fruit fly trying to fly in my mouth. <clears throat> I don't ever. <laughs> I don't want to read it. You read it. <laughs> Ryan and Ben, thank you so much for doing the egg club. <laughs>